What's up hackers? Today I'm going to help you unlock the full potential of Service Titans API. But before we get started, I need to warn you of two things. Number one, once you go down this rabbit hole, your ability to automate so many things may consume all your time. So please don't blame me if you spend nights, weekends, and holidays on Zapier tweaking out. Number two, Service Titan's API is just like the rest of Service Titan. It's overly complicated, so you may find yourself frustrated with it. But don't worry, I can help you. All right, let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is go to developer.servicetitan.io and you'll need to have the ability to create apps. If you are a Service Titan user, you can just email integrations at servicetitan.com and request access. Or go ahead and click this, and here you go. Here's the link. So we'll go to login and create apps. Since you're a Service Titan customer, you're gonna go to login as production environment user and we're gonna create a new app. The application name is, we're gonna title it Zapier Connection. I'm gonna put your company name here. Go ahead and put your homepage. Your tenant ID here is something that you will get from your actual Service Titan account. You can find that under Settings, Integrations, API Application Access, and your tenant ID is here in the top right, okay? So once we have this, we'll scroll down and we're gonna select the API scopes. And these are endpoints. This means what you allow Appier to read and write as far as Service Titan goes. So for me, since I'm building the app in my own account, I'm gonna give it access for everything. So I'm just gonna click all, all on here. So you can see this is all the information we're gonna be able to get, lots of stuff. And they do add more every couple of months, more endpoints. Now on client credentials management, just keep I, the app developer, will configure credentials on behalf of each client. Keep that checked and click save. You're gonna go back to settings, click connect new app. And you'll notice at the very bottom, you have this Zapier connection. Click connect, and it's gonna ask you for a few different restrictions. Everyone's list may look a little different. I just put no restriction on all of these, and then click allow access. Okay, and it's been connected, and then you have your tenant value here. And the next step, go back to my apps, click view connections and now you'll see that that your company's tenant id is located here and you have a client id and a client secret that now you have to generate so you generate the client secret and this is only visible once so you're going to want to you're going to want when you click continue you're going to want to copy this and put it somewhere safe i'm just going to put it in a note off screen and we're good. So we're, we're active and now we have all of the credentials that we need to log in. Now our final step after we do view connections is we have to get our Service Titan app key. And that is back in the application after it's been created. It's right here. So go ahead and copy that and save that information. Okay, great. Now we can go to Zapier and create our connection. Now we can, now we're back at Zapier where we can actually create our connection. So first, so I'm gonna assume that you have some experience with Zapier as far as triggers and actions go. For this specific Zap, what I'm doing is I'm taking a file that's been uploaded into a folder in Google Drive and I'm going to put it into the notes section into Service Titan customer. So there's a few things we have to do. The file itself has the file itself has the job number in the title. So I'm just using a built-in format tool from Appier to get the job number. We get the job number and here's where we actually create the 
service titan connection. So here's where we create the service titan connection. We're going to use webhooks by Zapier. Our event, we have different options. We're going to use post, click continue, and we're going to put this URL. That URL is going to be the same no matter what company. Payload type form, data, grant type, client ID, and client secret. The grant type is always client credentials, and you're going to put your client ID here and your client secret there. Remember, client ID and client secret were what we got from our app originally. We're going to leave these the same. We don't need any headers. And when we click continue and we test it, we're going to get what's called an access token. And that's what allows us to get and post data to the API. So we have our access token. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the job ID from the job number. So I'm going to use webhooks by Zapier premium, custom request, the method is get, and then here is the URL. So this URL can become a little tricky, but we get this from this API list, which is found developer.servicetitan.io forward slash APIs. These are all the endpoints that we can use. So for this one, I am using in the jobs job planning and management section get tenant jobs and here is the full url we can use but all we're using here have the job i the job number and my, i have my tenant id so i'm going in and i'm just going to copy this part and it would look like this right take our tenant id put it there jobs question mark and we'd say number equals, and then we're gonna put in uh, the job number, which was from the previous step. And all we need here is, so we need our service site and app key. In this header, we need to put the actual key here. And then this needs to be put in exactly. Authorization, and then, and then we go to where we got the token, and we put in, we click token type, error, spacebar access token from there when we click continue we will get all of this information these are all the fields that i got from that specific job now i got the job id job number project id customer id now i'm actually going to send this file in the form of a note into the customer so i need the customer id for this and this is another custom request which is a post request and you'll know if it's post get or patch based upon this here where you see right here i'm going to go back to the api reference i'm going to go to customers under cr i'm going to post customer i note here and I, what i need is i need my tenant id which i have and i need my customer id in this url which i have so here's my tenant ID and my customer ID. And then this is a JSON format for the data. This is where it gets a little tricky. You might have to play around with it a bit, but what this is doing is it's putting a note into the job and a link to embed the file and adding it to the top and adding it to all locations. And when I submit that, it's going to tell me this is what happened and when it was submitted. And now the site survey that the file will go to this customer and you'll be good to go.